I play Connor Temple, um, which is, I, I still love that name. I think it's one of the coolest names. Um, and I was a student paleontologist um, when I met up with Professor Cutter. And I, um, the reason that we were in the forest of Dean, because I, I followed conspiracy theories and there was one that there was a monster in the forest of Dean. Um, and we went there together, uh, along with Stephen Hart, his lab assistant. Um, and that's where we bumped into um, Abby Maitland, who was also there because there was a, she'd found a little uh, rare lizard, who is Rex. Uh, and then the five of us bumped into each other. Uh, oh, yeah, and uh, Claudie Brown as well, who's from the home office. So we're all conveniently <laughs> placed together. So we're all there at once. Uh, and then we see our first anomaly and creature. And that's how the whole thing began. And then we had to uh, sign a secrecy agreement with the government. And we randomly, this random bunch of misfits, as it were, were um, given the duty of, of researching this anomaly uh, situation and the creatures and, you know, trying to fix it and put the creatures back and that has grown and grown and grown and um connor's connor always uh was really into the technical side of things the computer side of things and um it's kind of become pretty much the inventor of everything in the show um so he's been given the uh the skills and uh the knowledge and i suppose the uh equipment <laughs> importantly to to put his ideas um, you know, into fruition, as it were. And he's come up with some pretty amazing stuff uh, to the point where in this season, he designs the very first machine and um, which makes the first man-made anomaly. And he did that. So yeah, pretty, from being a student paleontologist to doing something that would probably win in the Nobel Prize is pretty, it's a bit of a story, a bit of a character arc. <laughs> So my character uh, comes back uh, from the Cretaceous, uh, a bit more upgraded, a bit more hardcore than before, um, less nervy, more confident, and uh, basically gets set to work by Philip Burton to work on um, one of the most, uh, he describes as one of the most uh, influential things in history um, to do with um, harnessing energy. Um, green energy for the first time um, and he gets put to work on that basically and that's that's while all the action stuff is going on which he's still involved in he, he's constantly working on this uh, for Philip Burton until it comes to um, a very very dramatic climax and everything goes a little bit wrong. So I play Abby Maitland in Primeval and primarily she's a zoologist and that's initially how she got into the team. Um, she now looks after the menagerie within the Ark and is one of the main leaders within the field team as well. So it kicks off beginning of series four. Um, Abby is in the Cretaceous with Connor, trapped. Um, can't get home, falls in love, stays there a year, finds an anomaly. Um, they go through, she comes back, um, taking, bringing a Spinosaurus with her, um, meet the new team, end up going on a mission with them by default because they're just there, so they help. Um, get back to the Ark, hook up with Lester again, um, get sacked get re-employed, um, get paid, find a flat. Um, yeah, front the menagerie, that's kind of my job within the arc. Um, Connor's still sacked at this point, and then what happens? And then, oh yeah, take a dislike to Philip because of a certain incident that happens. I'm Ben Mansfield, I play Captain Becker. Um, Captain Becker is the head of security at the Ark. He was seconded from the sort of uh, special forces in the military to work at a mysterious government uh, organization called the Anomaly Research Center. And that's where he's stayed now. Yeah. I fight dinosaurs. 
the future predators and hostiles that come through, whether they be human or not. Becca starts off kind of very, like this, a bit ostracized from the new organization in a, in a way, feels that it's all kind of shifted hands. Lester isn't the final point of authority anymore. Um, well, you know, under, just underneath the sort of um, Home Secretary. Um, it's now Philip and it is a privately run organisation, so there are different rules, different regulations to adhere to. He's still feeling very sad um, about the loss of the rest of the team and takes it quite personally, because as it was underlined by Nick Cutter in the previous series, uh, he was there to protect them so that a Stephen Hart thing didn't happen again, which, which it did really quite badly because Cutter died, <laughs> Lucy left. And then uh, the other three got lost in the Cretaceous. Um, and then Dr. Sarah Page uh, bought it as well. So Becca didn't really do a very good job. However, it obviously wasn't his fault. He just feels a lot of responsibility for that. So he's, he's very um, touchy about it and, and kind of a bit um, obsessive about uh, protection. Won't allow people to go through the anomalies anymore. That's a kind of a fundamental ground rule. Um, falls out with Matt about that exact precise problem in one of the episodes um, uh, but there is also a lighter side um, he has now grown a great affection for the character Jess and that kind of uh, manifests itself throughout the series which is nice to have that you still don't get to see Becca at home however I'm playing the character of Jess Parker um, and she's She's young, she's in her early 20s, and she's a real whiz kid. And this is kind of her first, you know, taste of the, the dinosaur Cretaceous world. But I think she takes it with a pinch of salt and she's ready to get in there and really, you know, give it her heart and soul. She's an amazingly, you know, focused person when she's on the job and is completely, you know, there, ready to, you know, give her life, basically. Um, but at the same time, she's got a real fun, bubbly side to her and you know, really enjoys the aspect of hanging out with the girls and, you know, her crush on Becker. And, you know, she's, she's a nice person to have around the office, I think. Well, in the new series, I think the stakes get even higher. I think, you know, there's, there's more creatures, there's more dinosaurs, there's more predators. It, it gets much, much more dangerous. And, you know, the world <laughs> is in danger, not just, you know, a, an area or a city it's kind of the whole the whole world so it, obviously the team are you know working really hard to stop that from happening and you know there's there's a lot more um i think there's more that goes on in the personal relationships as well there's more ca more new characters and also you kind of get they travel through anomalies to different eras that i don't think have visited in other series before <laughs> Jess is obviously when you kind of when you start off in the series, she, you you see she's a bit kooky and a bit fun, but she's very focused. But as the series progress, you see, you know, there's more personal side to her. You, you kind of see more into her crush into Beck, where she confines confides in the girls, and um, also I think her relationship with Lester develops, and it's kind of a fun. It's quite a father daughter relationship, but it's also, you know, they have good fun together, and um, she also kind of gets to have a bit more action out in the field, not just stuck at her desk. So that's, that's quite fun as well. <laughs>